Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, WD Michael, and in today's YouTube video, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Terror Raid event happening in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video games and the Teal Mask DLC. So the, we've kind of been getting a really regular schedule with these seven star Terror Raid events, and they kind of took a break as the Teal Mask came out, but we did get the Hisui and Decidueye, and it seems like we're gonna get another small break to kind of catch up on some Terror Shards because they announced that we're gonna be going back to doing blissey raids now the reason why these blissey raids are so so crucial and why everybody's so excited about them is because they drop an absolutely insane amount of terra shards so this is your time to really stock up and get a nice chunk of these terra shards so that when you're making your competitive teams here in the coming weeks you have plenty to work on so let's hop into this video let's check out this blissey raid and see some of the details about it and kind of figure out the best way to make sure that you can farm as many terra shards as you can so let's hop into the video Yo, here we are on our Switch in the Pokemon Scarlet Bob video games, and you can check this by going into your Poke Portal and going into the internet and checking out the news section. There's always updates in here, which is really awesome. I'm glad that we get updates actually in game for this kind of stuff. Um, but we have the Prepare to Get Happy with Blissey Terror Raid Battle Events happening again. So it looks like we have from Friday, October 20th to Sunday, October 22nd. So when it says Friday, October 20th, the 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 time frame ends up usually being like for us in the united states it's usually like thursday night is when these end up opening up so we should be able to get them actually tonight which will be pretty cool uh they're gonna appear more frequently in terror raid battles these businesses will have various terror types so there's gonna be all the different types of pokemon and whenever they uh you knock it out you're gonna get a ton of terror shards for that specific typing um defeating blissey will yield some delightful rewards such as various terror shards we need a bunch of experienced candies, which are always great as well. Um, lucky trainers might even encounter a Blissey that grants loads of additional terror shards with different terror types. So basically, every once in a while, you're going to get a Blissey and you're going to hit a jackpot and you're just going to get a ton of terror shards. So super cool. I always love these events. These are always an amazing one to farm out and hunt a bunch. And I'll probably do a bunch of these on stream, especially during the uh, Saturday Night Rumble this weekend um so yeah this was really cool and then also remember if you have completed your kitakami pokedex and you've gotten that uh the sparkling shard or what i can't remember exactly what the name is but the item you get for finishing the kitakami pokedex is actually an item that will boost your terror shards so doing this event with that boosted terror shards you are going to be raking in a ton of terror shards so make sure if you haven't done it yet go ahead and finish that pokedex it's not a lot of pokemon and get that item so you can get those boosted terror shards um, so yeah, really, really awesome. Um, next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to hop over to Showdown and let's take a look at Blissey so that you have an idea of what type of Pokemon you should be bringing to these Terror Raids. Yo, so here we are. We've got Blissey. Now, there's reason like I really wanted to pull up Blissey on Showdown was because I wanted to show its stats because there are some Pokemon that are going to be really beneficial in this raid event and then there's going to be some that just aren't going to do as much. Now, the Blissey raids are not hard. It's not anything where it's a seven star terror rate event where you really need to make sure you have a perfect build, a solid team counter so that you can actually beat it. It's not that case, but you can definitely make your, your life a lot easier if you just bring the right kind of Pokemon to these ones. Uh, now, if you're looking at the actual stats for this Pokemon, there is one huge thing that you should be noticing. One, its HP is insane. It has a massive HP pool. But when you look at its other defensive stats, there are two that are very lopsided. One is being its defense and its special defense. It has a terrible defensive stat and a really, really good special defensive stat. So bringing Pokemon to these raids, say you get a Fairy Terra um, Blissey. Bringing a Goldenga would normally be like, okay, yeah, let's do this. But it's a special attacking Pokemon. So you could just make your life a little bit easier by bringing physical attacking Pokemon to these raids. And whatever the Terra type is, just bring physical Pokemon. You're going to notice that you're going to knock out these Pokemon a hundred times easier. And that's just because of the fact that its stats are very, very favorable for physical attacking Pokemon. So keep that in mind when you're building for these. Yo, thank you all so much for coming out to the YouTube video where we talked about the new Terror Raid event happening in the Pokemon Scarlet Battle video games. The Blissey Raids are always a great time because a lot of us competitive Pokemon VGC players end up burning a ton of shards as we're changing our Pokemon to fit the teams that we need and the different regulations that we have. So it is always, always a great time when we get these Blissey Raids so we can stock back up and be as prepared as possible for the next upcoming regulations. So I will definitely be doing a ton of these Blissey Raids over the weekend on my Twitch stream over at Twitch.com 
twitch.tv slash WD Michael. So if you want to come and hang out with me, make sure you go ahead and drop my Twitch to follow so you can get notified when I go live over there. Um, I'm live every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at around 9 p.m. CST for about three to four hours. So come hang out with me. I'd love to hang out with you and get some of these raids done. And um, if you like this kind of video and these are some things that you want to continue seeing, make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell so you get notified when I drop more videos just like this one. Again, thank you all so much for the support recently, and hopefully you have a great time this weekend clobbering a ton of these Blissey raids so that you can get those terror shards. I hope you have a fantastic time out in Kitakami and the Paldea region, and until next time, peace.